Hello everyone, welcome to Lukman IS. This is DTR session, Daily Tucker Rapid Series, where we are discussing daily 10 quality MCQs based on today's current affairs. So this is class 50 and we are going to discuss the lead topic for today, what is Ulla's initiative and other 9 topics on the basis of which we will discuss total 10 MCQs. But before discussing today's 10 MCQs, daily what we are doing, daily we are discussing one quotation by the philosophers, leaders or we can even say that the le religious leaders and this quotation is by Confucius uh, who is a prominent philosopher from China and that East Asia region. The superior man acts before he speaks and afterwards speaks according to his action. Very important quotation I would say. Why? There are two parts involved here. The superior quality of superior man he is talking about. First quality is superior man acts before he speaks. That means he is acting first before speaking. That means his actions are basically speaking for himself. Like for example, leadership, lead by example. If suppose you are IS officer, let's say you are district collector and you are reaching office every day morning at 10 o'clock, whatever the timing that is there. So it will have the impact on other employees and basically you are not telling other employees to come at time. You are showing through action, you are, uh, let's say you are speaking through your actions that I come by before the time or on time, you should also come on time. This is what we can say superior man acts before he speaks. Simply one should understand this. Actions are speaking for himself or them. When someone is only speaking or we, we can say saying something, it is difficult to trust him because he may not act accordingly. He may not act accordingly and that's why action is more important than words. Okay. Now the second part. The superior man afterwards speaks according to his action. Now what this particular second part is talking about is integrity. It is integrity in terms of we can say that what he thinks, what he speaks and what he acts is in line with each other. So we can say that here what Afterwards speaks according to his action. That means basically his words and actions are in same line. So this is what Gandhiji also talks about. When the thoughts, words and actions are in harmony, there is peace in mind. There is peace in mind. So we can say that there is integrity. Superior man is having this quality of integrity. So when he is doing something, then he is speaking in line or according to his action and not something else or not lying. Uh, he is not dishonest person. Okay. So one can talk like this uh, in explaining this quotation. Fine. Now let's talk about today's 10 topics. Okay. So let's go in details of these topics. Uh, uh, MCQs. First MCQ is related to Ulla's initiative. And this initiative has been launched by keeping focus in the mind in terms of functional literacy for all. Functional literacy is not simply bookish kind of literacy but it is also applied in nature like for example digital literacy is there or legal literacy is there and it is going to help all citizens in the society. The full form here is that understanding lifelong learning for all in the society. Ulla's initiative and this is recently the Ulla's app was launched and that's why it is in use. So it is related to promoting lifelong learning and bridge the gaps in basic literacy and critical life skills. Critical life skills nowadays like for example digital skills or digital literacy is there. Digital financial literacy is there like we online transactions are being done be it related to UPI or online we can say banking. So this is Ulla's initiative is going to provide such kind of literacy. So it will help the people especially from the rural background 
to ensure such kind of critical life skills. C is the correct answer here. Okay, fine. Let's talk about the second MCQ. Okay, so this particular fund was in news recently because SAB had come up with certain guidelines regarding this fund. Corporate Debt Market Development Fund. Now this fund was created by keep, keeping in mind to ensure some liquidity whenever there is something dislocation happens uh, in the secondary market and this particular fund where 3000 crores will be raised through mutual funds and uh, they will be investing in this fund and along with that government will provide some kind of we can say guarantee of 30,000 crore okay 30,000 crore for this fund so basically it is corporate debt market development fund it aims to enhance secondary market liquidity by creating a permanent institutional framework for activation in the times of market stress okay market stress ke time pe hi activate hoga zyadatar so we can say it is correct statement it is authorized to purchase both listed and unlisted corporate debt securities now one can understand that unlisted nahi hoga na ye listed hi properties isme allowed hai so we can say that this is incorrect and that's why answer here is one only okay fine pradhan mantri swanidhi so uh, even in the past we have solved some mcqs related to this pradhan mantri self uh, sorry street vendors assistance nidhi oh, sorry atmanirbhar nidhi theek hai so street vendors vendors atmanirbhar nidhi so basically it is provided providing some collateral free loan of up to 10000 rupees for those street vendors in the urban areas who lost livelihood during covid times okay as a part of atmanirbhar package this scheme was launched it aims to provide skill development funding assistance and technological as msme sector it is not correct it is specifically for we can say that street vendors it comes under ministry of msme again it is not correct it comes under ministry of housing and urban development or urban affairs theek hai small yes sidbi is the technical partner for implementation of this scheme this is correct this is true and that's why we can say that a is the correct answer okay only one statement is correct here regarding this scheme okay now let's talk about next okay central consumer protection authority was in news recently so let's talk about this authority statutory bodies and constitutional bodies what is their composition and all these things their powers and role and function ye aapko taiyar karke rakhna it is established under the provisions of consumer protection act 2019 yes this consumer protection act 86 1986 was comprehensively amended in 2019 and in 2020 this particular body was formed for protection of rights of the consumers central consumer protection authority is there then the, under the provisions of this act the at state level state consumer protection authority at district level dcpa also is established okay so that is the institutional structure now it works under the administrative control ministry of health and family welfare to so, consumer protection consumer affairs hoga na ministry of consumer affairs so it works under the administrative control of this ministry this is incorrect first one is correct it is not empowered to order for recall of unsafe goods and service rather it is empowered it is empowered to recall the unsafe goods and services so we can say it is incorrect statement and that's why only one is the correct okay so you need to prepare about what are its powers and functions central consumer protection authority theek hai okay now regarding next question it is talking about ayush visa yes the government has come up with this new type of visa that is being provided to promote medical tourism in the country so for all foreign people or we can see citizens can visit india for specifically availing the ayush services traditional medicine services under ayush visa okay so it is going to promote promote 
medical tourism uh, we are aware that visa related or uh, all these rules are we can say notified by ministry of home affairs so first statement is correct ayush visa is introduced for foreign nationals seeking treatment under indian systems of medicine so we can say this is also correct so both statements are correct regarding this okay fine nyay bandhu program okay this nyay bandhu program has been launched by department of justice or simply we can say ministry of law ministry of law and justice so we can say that this is not launched by nalsa national legal service authority is legal authority or we can say statutory authority to promote free legal aid in the country but this particular initiative is by ministry directly it provides free legal services and advice through department of justice for all people in the country this is not for all people rather it is for weaker sections of society like for example sc st community and minorities okay women so for them they can avail such kind of free legal services under nyay bandhu program nyay bandhu app has been developed and onboarded by the umang platform this is true this is recently this nyay bandhu app was developed and onboarded under umang platform theek hai so this is incorrect so we can say that only one statement is correct again here a is the correct answer fine okay now next is related to account aggregator we come across this term nowadays and recently rbi has come up with the framework related to account aggregators who are account aggregators basically they are rbi regulated entities and they will be having <clears throat> all our account related different account related data at one place with our permission so we, we let's say i am having one account in sbi other in icici third one in axis bank now if suppose i am supposed to avail any loan from sbi now sbi is not getting all the data from all different banks my let's say banking data and that's why what happens is it is troublesome for the bank as well as me and it it is becoming problem for providing loans or credit so uh, to understand the credit worthiness of the borrower okay i am the borrower so uh, it is it will be helpful for the bank to get access to all account information at one place from the aggregator and that account aggregator will have permission from me as well as that bank okay so i will give permission to the account aggregator to co collect all the data for different accounts and that will be provided to for particular bank uh, on need basis so basically this is good thing it is going to expedite all the transactions and loan facilities and all credit disbursement it is rbi regulated entity that helps individual to secure digitally access and share information from one financial institution to the other so we can say this is correct a is the correct answer here describing account aggregator okay fine all right quality control orders so quality control orders are related to we can say quality ensuring certain quality standards for the products that are produced or manufactured in the country and they are mandatory certification scheme to ensure compliance with the indian standard applicable to the certain products so this is correct statement and this is issued under bis act of 2016 okay by the central government bureau of indian standard so we can say this is also correct statement it aims to improve only drinking water quality and fulfill the dream of swachh bharat abhiyan ab only bola hua hai so it is not only for ensuring quality of drinking water but for all other manufactured products not all we can say certain manufactured products for which this has been made mandatory so quality control order is for that this is incorrect we can say and b is the correct answer all right now consider the following options or we can say countries and which of these countries have border with black sea okay so such kind of question in past also upsc has asked related to caspian sea and mediterranean sea related aspect okay so black sea green deal is again in news and that's why 
बेसिक से क्वेश्चन है ब्लैक सी ग्रेन डील यूक्रेन रशिया वॉर ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर कंटिन्यूसली गोइंग ऑन सो मैपिंग एस्पेक्ट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट दिस ईयर प्रिलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन यूपीसी हैज आस्ट जपरेजिया खेरसन दीज टू प्लेसेस द मैच द फॉलोइंग टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन मैपिंग सेक्शन ओके सो यूक्रेन is there of course with the black sea opening on on the southern side romania is also there again southern side bulgaria is there turkey is not there right so yes <coughs> sorry so what we have there turkey is also there right greece nahi hai albania nahi hai russia nahi hai oh, sorry russia is also there of course Ar armenia nahi hai right so how many are there 1 2 3 okay right so thoda sa changes karne padenge yahan par 1 2 3 is there 7 is there armenia nahi hai theek hai okay armenia nahi hai so of course 1 2 3 7 hona chahiye let's quickly have a look at map also theek hai so turkey is there russia is there of course then we have what turkey ho gaya bulgaria ho gaya romania ho gaya okay so russia ukraine romania bulgaria and turkey is there and that's why what should be the answer here a should be the answer hum usme kya karenge russia add karenge yahan par theek hai so yes we'll make the changes to this question fine so these are today's 10 mcqs sorry the last mcq is still remaining pardon me participatory note okay participatory note right so we learn the basics of participatory note it is one such tool that is available to the foreign investors to invest in the country without any registration with indian regulator okay without registering with indian regulator that is cb okay so what they do these those participatory notes are issued by the fiis okay foreign foreign investors or we can say institutional investors to different foreign investors and these holders of participatory notes although they are investing and having certain returns from their investment they are not holding or have rights over the underlying assets ye aapko pata hona chahiye okay so what is this a derivative instrument used by foreign investors to participate in indian stock market without direct registration with regulatory authorities d is the correct answer here participatory note basics of economy fine okay so these are today's 10 mcqs fine let's stop for today thank you